Mangan Need Show, Sonic Garden Radio Live. Welcome to today, Monday the 13th. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Mang and Need Show, Sonic Gardens Radio. Here we go, we got Josh at the main desk. I'm back here, the control room. We're here on our uh, 29th day of the Central New York quarantine, and uh, that enters into our, this is our fifth, uh, entering into our fifth week of lockdown, as well as um, continuous days and episode release of the live Mang and Neat show right around uh, 4 o'clock every day and uh, so yeah just looking to um, give you guys the updates on what's happening play you guys some uh, Sonic Gardens tracks um, and you know give you some banter from the Mang and Neat show how you doing everybody some uh, opinions from Uwa himself they probably all missed me yesterday we did I was here but then I went home at 8 had to have some Easter dinner. Nice. Oh, yeah. What'd you have? What'd you have for dinner? Well, you want me to go th- run through the list? Yeah, I want to know. All right. I want to know what a fellow like you eats on Easter Sunday. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. All right, we'll start off with some vegetables. 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 <laughs> so, green beans. Green as- beans. A- asparagus. Corn. Salad. Um, then there was, uh, some potatoes, some pasta, just pasta with, with a little, uh, shredded cheese, like, well, uh, Parmesan, um, scallops, um, a little bit of deer for all you deer people out there. And I think that rounded, I think that was it. Oh yeah. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. Sounds good, man. Not yeah. bad. Not, Not bad. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, so I, um, you know, <laughs> finally figured it out um, what the audio problem was yesterday. And, All right. Uh, and then. Um, I saw you pop on again. And I was going to call in and I brought it up on my thing to listen to it. And then nothing was there. Yeah. So I had a I had an error with. Uh, I tried to run it again, and this time the audio was working, but it was a one of those double audios, so there was just the super echo, and I didn't realize it till about 10 minutes in, so I was cranking music, and it was like double, so it was uh, messed up, but I just jumped back on, deleted that, and then uh, um, ran it again, so I just called it take three, and right. you know, we had a couple, couple people, uh, um, you know, look in. Right on. Well. So here we are, man. We got all kinds of things, right? Yeah. Fucking, um, Bernie has endorsed the great Joe Biden. Of course. I mean, I don't, well, there's, he could have, yeah. Wasn't that lady still in it? Tulsi? Uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Wasn't she still in yeah, it? Yeah, she was like, she yeah. She just hijacking shit, right? Yeah, she, um, I don't really know her story exactly. I don't think she does, actually, Angelo. Oh. But I guess, uh, so what I've been hearing is uh, wildlife is uh, reclaiming Yosemite, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the bear population is uh, popped back up. There's a lot going on, man. A lot of stuff where people aren't. Things are going back to the way they were before, uh, us people started uh, making things difficult for inhabitants. So there's always that to keep be mindful of. 
to be mindful of. I hear you. Yeah, man. Tourist. Tourist. They chase stuff out. Uh, obviously, animals were living in a lot of places before uh, us humans were um, there, especially out, out west. True. You know what I mean? Uh, there was there was some people living out there, obviously, before... Uh, who was it? Lewis and Clark, wasn't it? They did a little expedition, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, they brought... Uh, was it Sacagawea? They brought her... They had her brought her along? I don't know, man. Yeah, well, they went They went on the big... Uh, the big uh, escapade across the uh, USA to discover what was going on and find a way out there, see what so what, what kind of life was out there. Uh-huh. Um, I haven't, from my recollection is that it was, uh, I think they lot, I forget exactly how many men they brought with them to begin with and stuff like that, but I know along the way they had to start eating their horses and stuff like that because with food and they had, uh, got so sick. I think they even ate their dog, but anyway, well, I'm pretty positive they did. Um. But they got so uh, sick of the um, eating horse meat and stuff that they finally like would trade horses for uh, fish and stuff like that when they got um, when they finally get made it out there. Uh, what are they? The Inuits, right? They were trading with them and stuff. There's a whole. It's that that right there is a whole. Like if you're if you ever want to know like uh, about. Um, how 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 America was how they figured out what was going on out west and stuff like that. That is an awesome uh, thing to read a, read about. Or I think there's even a documentary about it. I, maybe Ken Burns did one. I'm not sure. He'd make some awesome ones if he did. But uh, their expedition all the way out is pretty awesome, man. Um, talking about them making it out there and uh, yeah. If you ever get time, man, check it out check it out yeah it's it's real i don't know to me it's interesting to see how like um we came from the east coast and eventually spread you know what i mean across the america united states man yeah how it how it formed even, right even how into the civil war it wasn't um so before you know, they were they were adding countries like to make it uh to to offset the government they were like, oh, we're adding this new northern state. And yeah. They were like, no, we're going to add a couple southern states down here. And then a northern state was like, no, we want to be a southern state. So, you know, it was kind of, uh, you know, that was the po politics. And they had a lot of their what of that their, time. their generals and stuff that I know there was a bunch of hold holdovers and uh, stuff like that. What was it? The Spanish-American War. That was our uh, that was like our first war. Yeah, that now was our first uh um like war now that like, America was in. Now like Grant and Lee, whatever they were in, I'm pretty sure or uh yeah, Grant and Lee, they were in that, I'm pretty sure at, at some point and they might have even been um together. You know what I mean because they No, I think Sp Spanish American War. It wasn't that then what was it the uh Oh yeah, I, I, you know what? You're right because it it ended up being like the turn right before it's kind of like right on that edge of uh, the turn of the century there. So yeah, I guess those guys could have definitely been around. Well, huh. I know for I, um, I know they were in a prior war. Um, I don't think it was the French. Uh, but I, I'm that was the whole thing where it was like uh, I know Spain they were... wanted to claim Cuba, and then America wanted it, but they. Instead, Cuba was like, no, we just want to, like, have our own place. Thanks, though. I think a lot of people got disease when they went to uh, fight on the, um, I think the Spanish. The Spanish went. So it was the, it, I, it, so if it was a lot of diseases. In, if it uh, wasn't Cuba. the Spanish, it was the Mex. I don't know how, you know what I mean? It was the Mexican-American War, if not the Spanish one. The one that, like, we probably fought for Texas or something? Right. Yeah. I'm pretty positive. Um, I'm per so, hey, anybody out pretty there? Pretty damn positive. 
yeah, anybody Actually. out there, uh, let us know you're in. I got a little dial. It says excellent condition, but it's kind of running a uh, a thingy. I'm gonna check the uh, see if this thing's up and running. I'll check it out. We might be running, huh? We might be running. No, we might be lagging. I don't oh. know. Not sure. Definitely live. Not everything seems to be going good. It was the Mexican American War. I'm pretty positive. Um, today, uh, what was it like? Seventy five years ago, I believe. Today, uh, Theodore died, right? Oh, Roosevelt. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know. Right. I'm pretty sure. What well, he was? He was. Uh, yeah. Because Truman, Truman was uh, Theodore's uh, his backup, his vice, right? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, because it would have been 1945. Yeah, so we're gonna go with Theodore. It was Theodore. Um, Theo yes. Roosevelt. He was the one that was going on his fourth turn, right? Yes. Uh, oh no, no, that no? was uh, Franklin. Franklin was Delano. So Franklin was before. Franklin was after. After. So then it was Franklin that died then. Okay. All right. Man, those Roosevelts, they always mess me up. A Roosevelt. So Franklin was married to Eleanor, right? <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, I you don't know. know. No, I don't know that. You're, that's Ask me uh, some uh, pop culture trivia, please. Oh. For one. Well, I'm not doing trivia. I just pop <laughs> culture for 100. <laughs> no, tell me about this. Uh, tell me... Um, Tell me the story of what you when you went into your shop and the light fell. Oh, what yeah. Well, when I now? first walked in there, I was like, "Oh man!" I saw this white stuff on the floor, and I thought it was like a uh, like a rat. And then I looked closer, and I saw the tube because there's tube lights over there. I saw like three quarters, a half of a tube laying there, and then glass shattered all over like the desk and the floor and stuff. Um. So you're talking about a light that's been fixed there for like 20 plus years longer than that probably and the bulb then, might not have been there that long but the light itself has been right. yeah. and, and it looked like a piece i looked up and you could see the the little uh things that pop out to hold it in there they're made out of plastic it looks like one of them was broke uh -huh. yeah man oh yeah and it was right in the uh inconvenient spot right over your computer and such yes oh poor fucking guy. whacked it poor fella whacked it did you look up the, the, the stream? Did I do what? Did you look up the stream? Oh, to see if we're good to go? Yeah. Well, no, I also just wanted you to see the uh, the image I got behind you. Oh, I, boy. I put in a new uh, extra screen for oh, you. Oh, I bet you did. So I there's imagine. The, uh, there's an up-close one now. Um, What so day is it? 29? Or 28? Um, today? 29, right? Huh? Oh, today's day 29. Yeah. Week day 5. Time. It's week 5, day 29. Huh. And here we are. Didn't get no fucking alerts today. Oh, there we go. It's people watching us even. Oh yeah. Now Couple. is this is this uh Is that a picture that I sent you? Which one? The one behind you? The with the with the four presidents. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So, so you, I took that picture. You took that. Yeah, it's awesome. And you got it. Uh, I took that. Hours. See now. Yeah. Catch up. You'll uh, you'll see. Yeah. So, so there's uh, there's Roosevelt's you. on there, isn't he? Yeah. Um, who do we got? The first guy is uh, is that uh, Jefferson? Um, I can't see it right now, but or is it, that G Washington's Dubs. on there? So George Washington. Jefferson's definitely Thomas on there. Jefferson. There's a Roosevelt on there and then Lincoln. Yeah, Washington, Jefferson. I don't know why they got Lincoln last. Are those our forefathers? Well, Lincoln, you know what I mean? I mean, they are, but they are they're not like the guys that Obviously Lincoln wasn't there when uh they did any when, uh, uh, yeah, the original. Right. But um I guess there's people that take it to the next uh the next notch. I don't know, man. Yeah. Trump, he's got room right here, right off to your uh to the, shoulder. By Lincoln or by your, Washington? Uh, on your uh left side shoulder next to Lincoln. It's like right. 
it's like the hair is already there. It's going to be nice big hair. It'll right. Be a little I bit see bigger. it. Looks like Moses yeah. part of his hair. <laughs> right. It looks kind of like a lizard face now, which I guess you can just leave it. Right. Call that one Trump. So it was FDR that passed uh six yeah, how many years ago 75 75 years yeah he was ago. out at his thing in georgia and his and and that, i was right about eleanor i thought it was eleanor was back she was going to give a speech um so old uh well fdr he uh he was getting there was a couple like there was an artist there doing like a painting of him that's what they were into in 45 okay um and he had like some brain type hemorrhage thing or whatever. And they called and told her, but she still wanted to give her speech. But while she was giving the speech, uh, he passed down. Yeah. So then they put him on a train, on a slow train, not then, but for his thing to send him back to Washington. And people just lined up everywhere. And they loved him, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn right they loved him. He was uh, it's one of the good guys. Yeah, you got that right. And they gave the old, and then Truman. Truman came in. The Truman Show. Yeah. So, hey, uh, you want give want to give these updates? Might as well keep this thing going. Let you guys know uh, where we stand here on our latest. We've been tracking this thing for 29 days now uh, since these numbers were a tenth of what they are now. And everything has remained pretty consistent as far as, uh, you know, just uh, how bad this is and how how um, quickly, how quickly the numbers add up. Yeah, well, they're starting to, uh, they're going to do a gradual reopening soon. Six states for sure. Um, for sure. So United States, according to the world meter, updated uh, continuously. Um, we're sitting on 583,411 cases in the United States. Are we really? And uh, 23,462 deaths and... Uh, 34,664 are uh, recovered. So um, one thing to notice is that Tell they us. did add the closed cases. Remember I said they didn't have that chart? They just recently added it to the United States. It does not have a, it doesn't say, although we can figure it out by going back, what the active cases are. They only give you but the active cases are right here at 525, so it's easily yeah. to check that out. And we're up to 71 deaths per million. Right. Um, and, you know, the world is sitting on 21% death rate on recovered compared to death. And the U.S. is currently at 40% death rate of right. uh, recovered to have died. Huh. And uh, so currently... You know, we got 583,411 total cases and 525,285 of those cases are still open. Um, it's also got to jump back for the critical. Yesterday, uh, yesterday the numbers were down uh, about 3,000. Oh, boy. To 27,000 new cases. Um, but in order to see, uh, the, uh, how many of those are critical, remember we were talking, so oh remember boy. last time we were talking about how there's the new cases. Yes, there is. New and then cases. there's the current serious or critical. That's at 12,772. Which last time we were looking, I think yesterday it was at 11 something. Yep. So definitely. you're talking... You're talking 1,300 people dropped and then 11 people, so it means 2,000 people in one day went into critical, serious or critical. Well, more than that, right? Or, um, well, yeah. 
well, to maybe even yeah maybe well it because depends listen on exactly what the number was which yeah actually look at so it. listen so you yesterday we had it at eleven seven six six right. 11,766. Yes. Yep, yep. Now, take 1500 away from that. Right? So you're about down to te- you're down well, not, to not the 1500, it would be today's day. No, no, hold on though. You take 15 away from that. Okay. Cuz they died. Out of series. Today or yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. So then you're back down to 10,200, we'll say, all right? Hold on though. Hold on. Let me just stop you because if it's a if it's a um if this is the final numbers for like yesterday and you're saying 5,000. No, you didn't let me finish though. 11,766 new deaths. So that it seems like that number's already taken out the 15. It would be today's number would have to be subtracted just to, but it is still about the same number. So for, I was just, trying to say well they were critical yesterday and all right you want to say all right i'm saying if they died then they're not on the serious or critical they're, right they're not in there all so right like if you wanted to add those, all right so it's numbers so actually. it's 100 less so it's 1357 <clears throat> off of 11766 yeah which will it'll add up though and be more by the end of the day but yes so that would have got you at uh about 10,300 and something Right. Right? Yep. So then... Which it's actually going to be more. So back to your number, for argument's sake, it is going to be closer to the 1528. Right. So, yeah. All right. So you take that away from the 1272 and or the 11. Right. Yeah. Because so it's almost not... 3,000 people, in other words, have almost went into critical. Have went into critical. So and then even though people are dying th- coming off a of critical, there's other there's more people going on to it. Right. So that number is still climbing. So so there's more people going into critical daily than there is than the deaths daily. Right. But so, and, and in but all have, but it but but now we're at the but it still adds up. So now they're on critical and you don't know when they're going to fall off of it or get better. And it hasn't been you know, what I mean, like. Getting better hasn't been the number of the serious critical hasn't been doing anything but going up. Right. And then you look at even with okay. people coming off it. So look at the number. Look at this number. All right. Which would be the new cases of twenty three thousand. And you look at the and you look at yesterday's deaths. Yeah. Um. Was I going with that? I do not know. Huh, I lost myself. You were telling me the story. Um, I was telling you the story. I like it. Total deaths. Sounded like it was going to be good. Yeah. Oh, no. The total. Okay. So 23,000. So it's that 40% number. Right. But so if you're looking at new cases was 23,000 and then the deaths yesterday at 1,500, that's kind of like, that's the number. The fifteen hundred number is is like I was saying. I think it's associated with two week up to two weeks ago. So you could say one week ago would be the best timestamp, right? And then whatever those numbers are. But even so, I don't like that. That's a hard thing to pinpoint so far because I keep seeing so many stories of people being sick for like 12 or 13 days. And That's what I'm saying. It's up, a, it's up to two, like after you get the symptoms, it's up to two weeks. Right. And pretty much at some point, maybe you get, yeah. Sound like the base was going to hit. Base. Boom, boom. So daily new cases are, it is, you know, they're they're going down, but they're not, mm, yeah. It's not it's not the way like Fauci said it's gotta drop hard. Yeah. But man, you know, now the latest the same people that are denying it, now they're they're like sharing pictures of like uh Bill Gates and Fauci on, you know, just some random picture and saying if this picture doesn't trouble you and then Right. Um it's interesting because I don't know really what. Um, well, because they're finding out that they think Fauci's doing all this because he works for big pharma. Know, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. But CDC, it's just funny how I it's just like, saw a bunch of. So now it's like the latest, uh, like it is. It's just being evolved into this hoax that's, 
you know, oh, they just made it all. It's so weird, man. So fucking weird. Well, they don't. I don't know. Ne- they did. I don't know if they necessarily think that it's made. They just think that we're locked down for some other reason than, or that they're making it out to be more than it is. But I mean, the deaths kind of put a hole in that story. Um, is what I would say. Twenty three thousand fucking four hundred sixty two people have died. Like, it's no joke. Yeah, and it's and not, then, and it's but not I, something to even jump into. I keep seeing the thing though, about. like you're saying about that and the gates. I keep seeing uh, people comparing it to car crashes and all that stuff still, and um, and and heroin overdoses, uh, overdoses and all that. But you can't like you choose to do drugs and stuff like that. Um, you do not choose to breathe in someone else's stuff and get yourself sick or, or, or they start comparing all this shit. But what about these old people that are at nursing homes, just minding their business, never leaving the nursing home and someone comes in there and gets them fucking sick. Yeah. Not cool. Now, come on, man. That's not like in the flus, the flu's been pretty seasonal type shit. Like, and that, so, so basically your flu thing is certain amount of months you know what i mean like this is it's just so fucking it's so stupid to compare it. and then car like it's so stupid to compare it to that shit i agree but here we are here we are agreeing fucking trying to make a point that i i just it's so i mean it's a bad thing there's no way to look at it like but there's, I guess you're always there's always going to be somebody that wants to power through it or think that oh, um, unless it's someone in your fucking family, your mom, your dad, your brother, your kids, you know. Suddenly, well, that's suddenly. Would you change your fucking mind then? Is what I want to know. I'm pretty. And sure. And then you got those fucking idiots on O A A O N comparing it to fucking O A N, comparing it to what birth co- or uh, abortions. I just can't believe um not so fu- dude that Oh yeah, they like that right? that one. That girl. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But that's that's the latest uh you know Like someone like, made that choice though. That is why it happened. No one made the choice to go out and get sick right yeah. now. Breathe something in. It's just like I get it. Yeah. People that but that's a whole different thing. Abortion is like that's someone's choice. You know what I mean? That's their choice. That has nothing to do with you and I or the person making the argument. That's like, that's their, that's the woman's choice. Like, that has nothing to do with us. Now, going back to this, you get coronavirus. That wasn't your choice to fucking go out and get fucking sick unless you're one of these fucking idiots not wearing a mask or just going around to a party and shit like that. Then that's a different story. Right. So, I don't know. But there's, it's all that, man. It's like even everything's kind of laxing. People are getting a little, um, um, you know, I don't know. Everything's kind of like even the, um, it's just laxing up a little bit where everybody's like, oh, it's been a while. Okay, let's all get together again. Well, I'll tell you what, no. They called me today and told me fucking, well, I knew this, but I've just been waiting for the call. But they called and told me no knee surgery. Not happening. What do you mean, at all or like? Oh, you knew that. You knew it. You had scheduled. Yeah. uh, You knew it, though. For like the 22nd, but they hadn't touched base with me. Tell them uh, you did a lot of rescheduling to make that happen, and they're going to have to compensate you. I, I'm like, eh, I, I go, I wasn't, if you were going to tell me that you were going to do it, I was going to have to fuck back out. I'm, I go, I'm not going to no fucking hospital right now. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, I'm not ready to get sick. So there's that. <laughs> what else you got? Any news? Um, I had something, uh, I'm sure. So I asked, Oh, uh, there was something and it was why the unemployment. No, there was a guy, there was a guy, um, Oh man, 
some some college uh some college coach that's like a uh, big fan of Trump and he's um guys are like not not signing with the team cuz of uh cuz of it they're like, Wait, what? Like college they're like going to a different school. They're transferring. Why? Just they don't like the guy. They don't like who? <laughs> I can't remember what his name was now. Thought you might know. It was a sports related one. Oh. I did I guess I didn't I didn't I'll try to find it. But in the meantime, maybe I'll play a little song here. Oh, you got songs in this? Let's do a little something. How about uh Man. Hmm. Some sixty four year old man accidentally ejected himself from a fighter jet at twenty five hundred feet. Really? Yeah. I wonder what happened to him. He had a parachute, though. Well, yeah. I guess that's not bad. He's a Frenchman. The Frenchman. The Frenchman. Yeah. Hmm. What uh, song did you find for us? Well, you know. Uh, just uh, a little searching in here a little bit under uh, where are you looking no just in my catalog oh yeah, Angelo's just, catalog uh, looking in the catalog you can keep talking if you really want to well I mean yeah go ahead I guess um, man I thought I had something uh had something there? Something's missing. Oh, well. Huh. Oh, well, he says. Oh, well. Lost it? Lost it. What about... The Manganese Show? The Manganese Show. No, it's we're here. Live. It is live, man. Sonic, Sonic Gardens, Gardens Radio, Radio looking to get a thousand subscribers. We're still looking. Um, you know, hey, give us a like. Keep this thing going. Give Tell us a little. Uh, anybody wants to say anything, you know, give us a little type comment. Give us know phone that call? you're uh, out there. Call us. You can try the phone. All those phone lines down. Is it? I can't get. I I don't know what it is, man. Unreal. I think that this like, uh, whatever this phone converter thing is oh might boy. be a little might, might be, be a little whack you know what yeah, i'm saying unplug it for the night yeah see what happens see what's going on in the world what's happening oh yeah so did you find a tune Got all yeah. kinds of music on there. I do. Yeah, this is true. Um, I did see a former NFL quarterback uh, got in a car accident and died. Oh, really? Tavares Jackson had a stint with the Seattle uh, Seahawks and the uh, Minnesota Vikings. So there was all. There's always that. So. You're looking for terrible shit. Well, this one was pretty good. It was a pretty good one? Pretty good jam yesterday. Trying to make a... You got it? Oh. Oh, boy. Do what, I got it. What do we got? Someone we type go. in? Oh. I played this yesterday on the show. but Unbelievable. Um, we're going to play it again, folks. We're going to play it again In here. case you weren't listening, we're like 99 won the whale without the whale. This one's a shaka version Enjoy of it. the uh, stick figure song, Wait a Sound. Oh, boy. Little figure stick. Listening to Sonic Gardens Radio. Manganese Show. Manganese. Live. Live. We are live. <laughs> Good 
Sonic Gardens Radio, you're listening to The Manganeed Show. Boom. That was a Boom. rehearsal version rehearsal version. Eleven minutes of the uh stick figure 
That was Hit. 11 minutes. Weight of sound. I just yes, sat here sir. for 11 minutes. You just sat here. You sat there still for 11 minutes just listening to music in your own thoughts. Huh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I mean, 11 no. minutes. You just did some serious meditation, man. Oh, yeah. You went deep. Headphones on. Sitting here. Fucking. That was a pretty good jam, though, man. Huh. Got to give it up. There were some moments in there that were just, like, awesome. Nate doing that, uh, you know? And then, uh, freaking Dizzle with his those pops on the congas. Huh. I think I and missed it. of course, the Chris. I hear Chris. <clears throat> I don't know if I heard the pops. What I did hear is, uh. Yeah, because everything, uh, everything in that song is so, uh, there's so much rhythm going on that it all blends into oh. one. You know, the drums, the congas. Rhythm the and dick, like Bradley said. We keep that tight, and those two were ripping it. Yeah. Huh. So, uh. Uncle Rippy. Yeah, man, so we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back in action here. Everyone can hear us. Yep. No Everything one can call is, uh, us. No one can call. Uh, Check the telephone line. It's, uh, telephone. Check one, two. So you know the weird thing about that is Tell that me. right now everything looks good on the system, right? And as soon as I plug in that telephone, oh, it, plug doesn't, it, in. it uh, doesn't. Plug connect. it in. Plug it, it in. Says check the telephone line. Like Glade. So uh, that woman, she has broadened her claim on Joe Biden. The one, uh, a sexual assault. Yeah, Tara Reid. Tara Reid. However you want to say it. She says that he uh, inserted a couple fingers. So there's always that. Wow, man. Maybe it had something to do when it's on the charger because the phone line is open. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, 607-373-HEAT if you want to call in and uh, speak to me and Josh live yeah. on the air on the Mangan Need Show. Give us your opinions. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, how you feel about this lockdown? Tell us who um, you like. You know, tell us. Uh, tell us what you think about the tornadoes. Tornadoes killed thirty uh, people. Did not make it. That was in the. Uh, that means they died. Yeah. All right. I think we knew that. Well, you might have. Some people. Some people might not have. But now they know, don't they? Yes, they do. I'm here so, uh, to paint a clear picture. Yeah. Mangan Needs Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. Um, Tell your friends. Yeah. So, you know, we're just trying to run this thing like a, uh, you know, like an afternoon show. We oh, got yeah. music for you. We got opinion. We got some banter. I don't we even got, know if I um, have opinions anymore. We have, uh, <laughs> I know, I'm like... Like I said, we're kind of like numb to this whole thing. You know, we're getting hit with so many deaths daily. No, um, well, that too, but it's just, it's like we're surrounded by stupidity. Well, there's that too. That's what I'm, that's the, that's a lot of the dealing. <laughs> um, I was just thinking how, you know, when you go to like that COVID act now that I talk about, yes, and sir. how you can zero right in on your county. And it says, yes. you know, expected, um, expected, you know, cases. And yeah. it basically says, I think the number was uh, Shenango County was going to have 250 cases at its peak. I think I fell asleep out here when I was listening to that. If, that was, if I sat here for 11 minutes, Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, I don't even know how that was because the, cause you were deep, am, man. Yeah. Um, I get it. So, but anyway, are you following me? I'm trying, Angela. Okay, well, listen. Trying to follow you, You go to COVID Act now. You zoom in on, you can say the state, and it says the state this, this many deaths and this many, uh, you know, and this is all forecast. All right. Um, But you go to Shenango County, so now all you right. narrowed in on our area. Okay. And then it was, um, you know, there's basically 50 hospital beds available in Shenango County, ICU beds, which I imagine ventilators. So there's 50. There's 50. Yeah. And they say the peak 
there'll be 250 cases. And that was kind of a worst case scenario right. of right. Uh, not doing anything. And the lax is going to limit that. But, you know, I think down to like 150 at the peak. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was kind of like, and you figure whatever the cases are, the odds are there's a fraction of those that are going to end up dead. It is the, it's just the way it is, right? So, yeah. um, so it's kind of like you look at this map and it's like every territory is giving their, um, you know, their, uh, sacrifice to this. And that's the price of opening it back up. You know what I mean? Right. The open up. Or just not closing down in the first place. Like that's, that's I guess, the real real issue or what the problem was. It's almost, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody has to, it's almost like the Hunger Games. And I don't, you know, well, they haven't had enough that, tests but. around here too. I know that for sure. It doesn't matter, but like tester, regard. Well, obviously, the tests are the most important thing because it would be able to identify where you know cases and be well, able no, to the, quarantine. They can tell you exactly who's positive. Well, that's what I'm saying. Guessing, but I'm. But what I'm talking about is more, um, you know, just the idea that it's gonna happen, and there's, you know, there's at this point, you know. Well, testing. I mean, yeah, but it. My point is it wouldn't have to happen if they would have tested already. These people that they send home, just because they send home and quarantine them, I talked to somebody yesterday and she said they're not. A lot of them aren't, wouldn't quarantine until they were like, some of them did and some of them wouldn't, and then they came back to the hospital and then they said that they went places and stuff and they were supposed to be quarantined and they didn't quarantine them, or they were quarantined but they didn't listen. Um, and they're like, well, I went here, I went there. Yeah, this, and they and, and they why. ended up being positive. So who else did they infect? So that is why. So if you if you get told you're positive, it would be a different story, you would think. But so then they're just but spreading the getting, fucking thing around. Right. If you're getting the test and you're not sure, that's the that's what you're saying. I'm saying if you know or that you took the test and they're like it locked down at least for five days so we know when you have the results, then we then they would know like these people that get told to quarantine, they're not not everyone's listening. And they're going around other people. So then when they come back and they're positive, so that's more people that they've infected or real high chance of infected. And then it's just spreading still. And that's half of the problem right there. They, fuck, we, they've, they've tested 361 people in Shenango County, man. Come on. Shenango County's not huge, but it's pretty big, you know? What is there? There's over 20,000 people in Shenango County, right? Easy. Yeah. 47,000. 40, 47, 47,000. 47, yeah. And they've tested fucking 361 people, dude. Right. And 18% of them are po have been positive. So go f figure that, you know what I mean? Like that's, Yeah, it's all, almost one in five. So Definitely. that's a big deal, kind of. That's right there is like, I, I don't know. But, or you could just say fuck it and, they're and just let it get us back in, man. Strong is going to survive. What, is that what they say? Strong survive. I mean, I'm I'm not for that, but that's what it seems like. Uh, every fucking one in two Americans think that. Spewing their garbage all over. Oh I, yeah, that's right. What? Yeah. There was that story that I uh, I I just found uh, yesterday that I remember I wanted to. Uh, oh, what um, about Amazon hiring seventy five thousand more no, workers? No, this one was how. They're how just, they're just doing that. This one was just how while this uh pandemic is going on business uh, is booming. Uh Trump is actually uh loosening regulation on slaughterhouses and this is like the major slaughterhouses where a couple factors like they used to have uh oh, um yeah. 
So this is a, a new analysis from the Food and Water Watch. Included a lawsuit against the USDA says uh, that it plants uh, the new where the new system has been implemented. Federal government veterinarians were precluded and prevented from adequately inspecting animals and carcasses that had signs of disease, recent treatment, and other abnormal food safety and public health related conditions uh, that would render an animal or its meat not fit for human consumption. Huh. Um, and then, uh, so, you know, just inadvertently the, you know, here we are all of a sudden two years from now, we're going to have a, a pig pandemic and, you know, Trump's still going to be our president and we're going to start Why do you a say new, that? <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying, no, you, can't. you just brought up, we, we're going, uh, we're going, uh, Trump who's got 47 alleged, uh, sexual misconduct versus how many they come up with in the next six months for Joe Biden. Yeah, but Joe's smart enough. If any of that's serious, that he's to choose he, from. He's a uh, um. If any of that's real and serious, or whatever, that fucker will bow down. Joe. He's not a Trump. Trump would never bow down. Joe bought back out. Someone who knows what they're try to come in there and beat old Donald. Yeah. We'll see. Um, They'll bring Mike back, man. So this uh, Zach Zach Corrigan from the Food and Water Watch, the same person that I'm talking about on this topic here, uh, while people across the country are fighting against a dangerous pandemic, pandemic believed to have come first from animals, USDA is eliminating necessary safeguards against the spread of infectious disease from swine. USDA is endangering public health. Um, Do you know they had a swine flu once? That's that's the point. Oh. And so here we are with this loosening regulation. Um, so so the things that basically happen is we said that the veterinarians aren't allowed in there, and they the veterinarians were actually on the assembly lines, um, on the you know to be able to inspect things firsthand. Right. They no longer they they reduce that, and now the people that are they reduce those positions, and then the people in those positions are going to um, uh, have to, like, take, you know, get an update from an employee of the uh, company. Oh, so, boy. like, it's going to be more like, oh, how many cases did you come across? And it's just going to be all word of mouth, and you can obviously hide anything that you want to at that point. Um, right. This is uh, from Inspector Anthony Valone. It's so hard to go to work without feeling physically sick watching this just happen, unfolding in front of you, especially since you took the oath to protect the American people. So there's an inspector that can't get in. Um, can't get in. In traditional plants, as many as seven federal inspectors work on the processing line, handling hog carcasses and checking for defects. Uh, under the new system, that number will be reduced to two or three federal inspectors who have more experience but who will have limited hands-on interaction with now, the carcasses. Now, can you tell me something? Do you know what, um, is this for all uh, facilities? This is for the major ones. So the other, so what I was going to tell say, you something right now, okay? Smithfield, right? They're okay. A, they're a pork processing plant in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay. They are closing their doors right now. Really? Yeah, Why? man. Just because of in, uh, infection? Until further notice. Um, you, you honestly couldn't think, like, that is kind of scary to think that you could be putting it into this pork that then is also, it, it morphs again into a different They've means got of lots transfer. of employees falling ill. It, it's kind of back, like, here's the thing again, That's is what, that. Why they're closing. Is that all of a sudden I started thinking, you know, like, um, you know, and it's also what we'd been talking about a while ago, last one of the times with Ryan was the aerosols, right? Yeah. And and as soon as I said that, he kind of panicked and he's like, "No way, no way, man." And I think we we like mistaken what what that meant. But what if it did mean the way he said and that this is something that can be transferred? You know, from what I understand, it dies like it it dies on its own. It just breaks right. down. So I don't know how long that takes and if it's like if it gets blown in the wind. So now you look at it like you know, you put a fan out there. 
Right. And now you got a bunch of people like coughing in the other room and now the fan is blowing that. Yeah. Right. So are, is that going to get to you? Obviously it's going to carry further, but does that mean it's going to break down faster? Like the pressure, like whatever of the air and the, in that, or is it just like when it settles? Cause the whole concept of it, if it's on like countertops after only after people touch or when people cough, Cough, so then, the, cough. so then the the things go to the countertop and then they sit there alive, yeah, right? And then you, and then you touch so, it, you touch your mouth. Now and what then if you get it? So what if it's sitting there and uh, I bring a fan over to that, or Blow I'm already it off. dealing with a high pressure air conditioning system that is blasting air around, or 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 forced air heat? You're gonna get it. That's my point. So you're now all it. of a sudden, you're in like a, let's say a hospital and and a room's infected. And the air is circulating everywhere in the hospital. Well, you see what I'm saying by aerosol, like how long does it live? What's the, you know, that whole thing. Well, yeah, it's that's why they're not letting anybody in the hospitals. And those people that are in it are fucking wrapped up head to toe, man. Like, like the nurses right. and the doctors. True. Um, but not in this, this uh, plant I was talking about, 240 people got sick. And that's and they're closing that thing down. They they employ about thirty seven hundred people. the The plant counts accounts for four to five percent of the country's pork production. They're shutting it down. Shutting it down. I'm and not I, a. You know what? I started. Um. I I used to you know love like pulled pork sandwiches, and mm-hmm. I really got into pork for some reason, just taste wise. And uh, <laughs> and then I started getting like stomach aches kind of all the oh. time. I didn't do any research or anything, but like I have such a limited like food intake that I can I notice when things, uh, you know, bother me. Right. You know, I just I mean? don't it's like I either. can kind of pinpoint what it is exactly that was um, irritating, you know. Right. I just quit eating all that stuff. Fuck it. Well, that's a good move. I so, did that a while ago. So too, just so. to finish finish this topic here Sorry. that I just, you know, not to like. Uh, no, keep going, man. You know, I like it. I don't know. I like but, keeping um, it going, though. Yeah. Well, I I know. I know. So if that's I why I'm keeping going. Bit, I got a few then, more. That's then okay. we go longer with it. Right. It's yeah. lasting longer. Yeah. So the it's other like thing. The Walking Dead. So it wasn't just federal inspectors being reduced and unable to uh, be a part of these uh, these these slaughterhouses. But, um, and, um. But they also uh, changed. So finally, the federal limit on the line speed. There used to be a limit on how fast you could process um, these things for the obvious reasons. That, that if you just let them, then they're going to, sh- you know, sail that stuff through so fast. Right. They're not going to catch, you know. So uh, the rate at which hog carcasses can be moved for processing and inspection will be completely removed. So now it's as fast as they want to process again. Um, Getting it so done. The, so the potential defects will include feces, sex organs, toenails, bladders, and unwanted hair. Is that hot dogs? It, it's going to be anything that, you know, it's going to be, uh, yeah, all those things. Sounds fun. So there you go. There Ham is a, steak. There is a perfectly good reason why regulation for something like that seems fair, right? And maybe Can not. Can everybody yeah. agree that regulation against the uh, the production? You know what I mean. But now, does Trump own some? Well, pork? who knows? But the but the fact is, is that it's kind of the way everything goes. Is he just does everything to benefit the he rich man? It's the same. It, it goes, he does what he wants. It's kind of like I say, when you look at history, it goes back to the to the era. It's like you want to know when he really wants to make America, make America great again is when rich people were able to um, buy everything from elections to, you know, this is like back in the turn of the century with this like McKinley that we've talked about and Theo Roosevelt, how, he, how McKinley got killed oh, and boy. suddenly a guy that was going to go up against big business came in, right? Because nobody yeah. before would do it. So you had like this McKinley guy who, um, you know, these are the days of like if you went to a a factory or whatever and you said to the owner of that factory, you know, can I count on your vote and everybody in your factory to vote for me? That's how it that's how politics were run. So it was like you couldn't 
even deviate if you worked for a company. Right. And and for example, like um, I was in I was speaking to a uh, Jamaican bartender once, and I'm sure. uh, and he said that that's how the politics are in Jamaica. I mean, this was ten years ago. Jamaica. I don't know how it's like advanced, but he basically said that that they can go to a resort, and uh, you know the politicians will get a pledge from that resort that they will vote, and it's kind of like similar to like the way a union might, you know, sponsor something, but it's not strict to where if you're in that union and you don't really want to vote for that person, then you don't have to where it's like you have to in this. And then in, in that same sense, they might show up and say, everybody gets a extra hundred bucks, you know, to vote for this guy. And like, right. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So it, it, it makes it completely, um, you know, bought, bought, uh, d- bought democracy. And right. that's what we're in. I mean, we're in that. Um, we are. Just in the way that, that um, yeah, the way it is, man. So here we are. And it's like, so the end goal, and that's that's kind of why we don't we don't trust, you know, the Trump way, is that he just wants to, to, to get rid of all the regulation. And that obviously, um, you know, regulation is obviously – uh, it's going it to be bottom line for cost. a reason, right? It's going to be cost, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be something that you're not necessarily making money from unless it's of course the drug war where they figured out how to, uh, to increase the budget every, every time it came up for a new budget, uh, since the inception of the thing. And then finally, um, I believe that was uh, yeah. Let's not get on that. That was ended, but it was moved over. You know, I mean, it's just funds that got switched over into like ICE and and DEA and you know these different things. So the drug war is is alive as ever. It's just not called that. (sighs) Oh, it is. I mean, they still have. uh, I believe marijuana is a Schedule One drug. Well, it's illegal. Highly federally. Highly so illegal. even so what's interesting about that, you know, oh. is just a, like a reminder that like veterans, um, the vets. you know, PTSD and all in and, and all that, they are not allowed to uh, smoke to smoke herb. They are not uh, given. Well, it's highly illegal. Still. They are not, uh, you know, prescribed through the, uh, the right. VA. Right. Yeah. They get something else, some other mind altering drug. Yes. So, uh, with all the restaurants and everything closed, have you seen these farmers, um, like down in Florida and something, they've been destroying their crops because there's nowhere to sell them, like green beans and corn and stuff? Destroying their crops? Yeah, because green green beans that aren't getting canned only have so much shelf life. You have to pick them so often. Oh, and right. then you got to get them shipped out and get them to the store, and there's nowhere for a lot of this stuff to go now. Um, and they're just like tilling it back up and planting other stuff. Um, I see they got they got dairy farmers dumping perfectly good milk all around and stuff because there's a lot like coffee shops and schools and all that's closed. There's nowhere for a lot of that shit to go, man. Um, these. These lines for uh, people getting in uh, at food banks and stuff to get food are fucking huge. Yeah, people are suffering right now. Yeah, there's for sure. uh, there's basically there's, um, well, there's good people in the world that are donating money to these things, so there, they have food to donate to these people. But there's people that are actually working uh, these essential jobs that cannot afford health insurance right and they do not have health insurance and they are rolling the dice right now to make money to be able to survive and not uh lose everything that they are trying to protect um you know by catching this and then suffering whatever those hospital bills are i don't right. i haven't heard anybody discuss relief on that end but um seems to me like that uh that uh everybody needs to be covered thing you know the medicare for all is still it's a hot thing you know man it just in the end 
It's just crazy. All those things, all that security, all the social security and the ability for people to not, uh, or the ability for them to have to, if you're going to work a 40 hour week, you should be living in dignity. You should not be living in poverty. And that's the bottom line. It's ridiculous. There's no security. These people, you know, everybody, what's the thing you do? If, if they had to shut their thing, they shut down that slaughterhouse. For what reason? You know, did people get covered? What was the, um, you know, did they just say, go home, everybody? You know, these beans, you know, who, all these people are losing their job and they're all expendable in this moment. But yeah. that's, that's it, you know, economics. If there's not enough, you got to you got to trim something away. Right. Yeah. If you don't have enough money. So there you go. It's like businesses are forced to, you know, every close their doors. And obviously um, it's crazy. But yeah. I also hear now that there's um, that, you know, unemployment. And I don't is I don't know if that's just a New York state thing. But people that were um, on unemployment just got a six hundred dollar boost in their unemployment, and it's already started. So people are already getting an extra six hundred bucks that were were surviving before on the um, on whatever they were getting. So that's kind of that's kind of a, a flip scenario, right? But then again, there's ten million people signing up, so I don't right. know what what are they going to get an extra six hundred on top of the the standard amount. That is, I think, like, uh, you know, two thirds or something like that. Sixty percent. I don't know. Yeah. I mentioned that, too, how that that would become its own like its own like fraud thing, because when you're looking at how much money that is, it's like now you're saying to yourself, why? Why would anybody want to go to work? Why would they? I mean, like as far as those essential jobs. Right. It's like they can just go on unemployment then you know then all of a sudden there 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 really needs to be some incentive from the companies and and not that that's like a positive thing you you really don't want you know that's crazy like um it's it's a, it's unsustainable i guess is what i would say but then again you know it's nice that to have security right it's a it's a well amazon's hiring if you need a job yeah of course they are yeah, I saw what else? Did I, see? I saw another one, which was a clip of a an Amazon worker standing outside, you know, doing a like a press thing, kind of saying that, um, you know, the stuff that they're packing up you got is a not phone call, necessarily essential, and to remind everybody, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this oh, one. Oh, I bet uh, you are. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You are live on the Manganese Show. Can you hear us? Nope. They can't. You are live on the Manganese Show. Manganese. Manganese. Can't hear us. Oh, I think... Uh, what did you do? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Nope. They hung up on you. There's a prank call. Oh, this is, the, is this the first time we try to use this phone? Uh, Can you hear me now? I can I can hear you. You sound good, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Guess I got to check my, uh, it my setting day. here. Oh, yeah. You got to make sure everything is up to par. Hmm. Oh yeah. So yeah, I mean that's um you know that's kind of my thought of the day is that like uh you know it's like if we would look at if there was a way to like look at every topic individually without any uh history of um you know the politics end of it. Like let's just look at it. Like that situation like right there, do we think it's a good idea to reduce the uh federal inspectors for our uh pig slaughterhouses right and it's like pros and cons i don't pros. know but you don't know why they did that is what do you know why they did that? because because i i imagine that the uh meat companies uh had lobbyists that 
made that a a point, you know, whoever whoever's uh whoever's districts have these slaughterhouses were representing them in the uh Congress and then representing them in the Senate and uh and Oh, getting... you don't think it has to do with anything to do with this virus? No, I'm I'm saying it wasn't it's something that's all just in the works is what I'm saying. These are like these are like Trump's plans and or I mean, I don't know if they're According to that, it said it was a done deal, so something passed. Maybe it was part of this, uh, you know, stimulus was that, you know, that got thrown in there. I mean, that's how crazy, crazy the uh, the things are. I mean, uh-huh. you can figure out the story for yourself, but. Well, no, I don't know if they didn't want them to get sick. Those other, I don't, you know what I mean, or they told them. Well, why, they shut down the plant you're talking about? No. I don't know the if people those. people going to work. Like you're saying, like, they did, the, the people, the inspector people. Maybe their maybe their company. No, no, that's this is just like overall. This is like gonna last beyond coronavirus. This oh. is just a circumstance that they are no longer oh. um, gonna be checking the meat. Maybe they don't need them firsthand. Anymore. Well, of course they don't need them. They're oh. they're an expense. They don't want to pay to have oh. to pay a, a a veterinarian to uh, stand on the assembly on the on the assembly line, and it's not an assembly line. It's a right. slaughter line. And, uh, you know, well, that's just, and make sure that everything's legit. It's like a good um, reason for you not to eat pork. You know, it's like, uh, you know, casinos, right? I think casinos, like they have a commission that is required to, uh, you know, track the money, right? I believe like when they go in there and grab all the money, they're not necessarily working for the casino, I mean, I think they are, but I believe they also are regulated to make sure that there's no, um, you know, laundering going on. It might I, be right. I, think I, I don't that. know much about the casinos. I think I learned that from watching Ozark. I'm not. You know? oh, nice. I'm going to try to just uh, get this phone going if I you want to talk about something for a minute. I just want to oh, see if I it don't, works. I, all right. Go I don't ahead. know anything about the casinos. Really. Huh? Sounds like it works to me. You think I, it's working? It's fucking blowing my eardrums out. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. All right. So there you go. You want me to try to call that number back? Let's see. Go ahead. 1-800 mixed lot. Call it up. I mean, we heard them before. All right, you can hear me. Yeah. We can hear that, but they can't hear us. Hello? Hey. Hello. Still can't hear us. It's the Mang and Neat Show. We're calling you back. Couldn't can't tell if uh, you could hear us or not. They can't hear Are us. you there? They can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Hello? Nope. She can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Nope. Can't hear you. You're unhearable. Hello? Hey. All right. I guess. Uh, Maybe hey, tomorrow. we tried. You know, we tried. We tried. We tried. Trying's half the battle. Yeah. Um. Where were we? What were we talking about? Not much. All right. Well, I guess we might as well uh, play a video. We're gonna play a video. Let me give you guys a um some music. Hey man, I'm just keep this uh, music video. What do you got? I'm gonna keep this going with the. Uh... Oh, what oh. do I got? He says some music. Um, this one's gonna be uh, the latest one. Burn one down from uh, Oh boy, who's Shaka that? Live on uh, three fifteen, two thousand twenty, the day before the end of the world. Our last time we played twenty twenty twenty. Um, and uh, yeah, hope y'all uh, enjoy. Oh yeah, oh, I gotta get down to it. The Kentucky waterfall. Big. Right here, we're gonna switch over the sound. SG. Yo, you're listening to Sonic Gardens Radio. You gotta grow one up, grow one up, say 
just to burn one down. Pass it around, pass it around, yeah. Banana, don't let them mash it the ground. Yes, you gotta pull one up, pull one up, say. Just to burn one down, pass it around, pass it around, yeah. Banana, don't let them mash it the ground. So late, so ivy, so they might be my first mistake. Yes, my friends, and I pass it around. We don't need no blood to get down. We don't need no criminalizing so We gonna legalize it before we get old. We gonna, we gonna take one and pass one around. And when it comes down, don't you ash on the ground. You gotta blow one up, blow one up, say, just to burn one down. Pass it around, pass it around, yeah. Banana, don't let them mash it the ground. Yes, you gotta pull one up, pull one up, say. Just to burn one down. Pass it around, pass it around, yeah. Banana, don't let them mash it the ground, yeah.
We are back. Unreal. Sonic Gardens Radio. Oh, yeah. We're back. We're back. Yeah, man, this whole this whole uh, broadcast, I've had this uh, uh, thing spinning over here on the studio, but everything's running good, so whatever. Oh, yeah. So I'm unable to, like, see any of the chat stuff. So. Oh. But hey, man. I like how I'm... Uh, in between, I like fit right in on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, you know I set that up just like that, didn't I? Right. I think I can make you black and white too, maybe. Oh yeah. You'd, you'd blend right in pretty good. Be good for right next to old Abe, so I can fucking shoot. whack him. Yeah. So, uh, what? Any thoughts in during that song? Um, that was once again. That was a uh, Shaka performing. I. You want me to talk Burn about one thoughts? Down. Yeah, give me your thoughts. Um. Well, this has the song. You guys did a great job with the song. Oh, I was just thinking thoughts in general, but if you want to oh. tell us about, tell me about your thoughts of the song, sure. No, well, I don't have any thoughts on that. The, you guys did a great job with the song. My thoughts are with the person who. Why does it? Everybody. Uh, why do all those people want to write songs about weed and shit? There's not that many songs, really. There's a ton of them. Um, Are well, there? Well, there's not a lot of great ones. Well, I like remember that. Uh, remember Cottonmouth Kings? Yes. Yeah. So they were like, they were more on the on the like exploiting the marijuana. But well, and they, they like had nowhere to go after. Like they had one like cool song, and then they were just like every song is about that. And then, uh, well, they grew weed too. And then though. some of the. Uh, some of the like Bradley spinoffs was always, you know, everybody's always got to have that. But, right, but even even if you go I back guess that's to what, like, yeah, um, that's a fortunate youth song. That is. Yeah. Oh, I fucking hate fortunate. I don't hate. I mean, I I don't hate nobody. I don't like him at all. That guy's voice is so fucking annoying. Well, um, that's we. I think we do a pretty good version of the. Team. Oh, you do great. I've never heard the original. I thought. And uh, you know why I haven't heard the original? Because I don't like that fucking guy. But I like, no, you guys did a great job of that song. I would never know. I mean, it sounds great. But my thing is, is like, even legalize it and all that, I've always, like, my whole life, like. Cringy? It's cringy? Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can say is that Bradley did that Smoke Two Joint song, but he did it in a whole different fucking way, and it's not, like, cheese, or it's. I don't, I don't know, if, know, man. I don't I got, know. If, I got to think that, like, Bradley. Had uh, you know, I mean, we do a, we do a bunch of those tunes because they're awesome. But there was right. also some like some of his songs were pretty cringy as far as like um, you know, especially now looking back, it's like, eh, did he really have to like say that or so you know? No, I'm just on the whole weed thing is what I'm saying. Even yeah. like legalize it and all that shit See, from back I'm more, then. I'm more like that about like um, uh, adding like exploiting uh like sex into uh songs or whatever you know but see are you talking about his date rape song then no da date because rape that was, was the to original. what like, that was really the original hit because that was to draw awareness scene. yeah 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 that yeah. wasn't making no, it out I like guess it was more like that uh you know i don't know man no tell me i like it's good hey, you know what no nothing oh it's good to talk about yeah, um, exploiting anything is kind of like, but it's different, man, because like, here's, okay, here's my stance on it. Weed kind of, and the legalization of weed represents something so much bigger. Like we've been talking because it's something that, you know, goes back to your youth. And like I say, if you get presented with the evidence of something and you just jump to a conclusion without jumping on like, um, you know, lines of like liberal or conservative or uh, law abide, you know, like you just look at it in general. You know what I mean? Just right. because it's a law doesn't mean that it's, um, you know, that it's like a, an ethic or a moral thing. Right. So you see what I'm saying? It's like that's where the whole concept of, of uh, outlawing the ability, you know, of any drugs and again like i say that's why i think that all drugs should be legal because if alcohol is legal 
and we learn the repercussions of taking away alcohol in society um, through um, prohibition, but it's really just the same way with everything. And I'm not saying like it means it should be readily like available in every bar or that circumstance, but I think that um, yeah, I don't know, man. Huh? That's my uh, that's my take. All right. Is just uh, so so where I'm saying that it represents more is the whole idea. Like I said before, is there's there's so much more value in a uh, a flower that grows, right? Excuse me, had something in my throat. Yeah. Um. So, um, you know, from oil to paper to, um. But that's hemp you're talking about, right? Or but no? it's the whole. It's the whole. Right. You know, everything's in the same category. The kind of. Uh, They're related. Yeah. They're related. I mean, there's two different things, and then obviously the medicinal uh, uses that have been, you know, discovered and and. Uh, and then the money and the revenue and yes. the, uh, you know, all those things. So I'm not saying cash money, you know, and the fact that it's just something that is, that is just grown and that has become a, uh, you know, as, as popular in, uh, well, hops cult, are grown in culture. Too. Well, as popular in culture as like, is that is like the, um, the craft beers. Right. And I think that like the end result of, um, full legalization would be back to um you know craft weed and the craft weed would be grown by you know the experts in your area and there would be a limited amount and it wouldn't be the uh the walmart version you know that right. so many places are like suffering from yeah so All right. Right. eventually but it would take a while and like i said so there you go revenue and uh you right? know, that's just as far as uh, the the marijuana is concerned. I mean, I don't know about like what's up with the rest, but I just don't think. I think if you take out the uh, illegal and the immoral, and you treat it like anything, you know. Right. Hey. All right. All righty then. Just be a lot of less uh, like murder and robberies and yeah. des and desperation i guess is i mean what i think yeah i i i don't know we don't know well they've done it they've done it in certain places what? uh and had a full turnaround oh like just legalize, legalize everything uh decriminalize at least yeah everything. well yeah no that's fine i'm just saying i just don't know why i mean i'm full legal legalized but my uh, whole point is everything like, would make sense too i mean you I think about know. how much of the uh you know how much of the um uh like police force is yeah fuck in Reagan. more danger because of that situation right you know what i'm saying like well, so blame so you Reagan take out and nixon so you remove you remove the fact that the person getting pulled over is going to be um uh going to prison over something and that also reduces their desperation to pull out a gun and or, shoot that or, cop. Or, or drive away. Or drive Please away. Chase. or Which could cause even more damage. That's oh, something yeah. that I never understood is why police chases are... Um, why don't they get their plate and get them later? I don't think that... I think that, yeah, I think that that's like the... Word. When you see those all through town, they got a helicopter going after somebody. Right. Cars everywhere, all this commotion, anything, you know. And, you know... Yeah. It's fucked up. I'd also like to know, so anybody out there wants to tell me uh, if they've seen or been pulled over in the recent weeks or if the policemen have decided that their quota and uh, these these uh, minor traffic infringements They're still pulling not, people over everywhere. Um, not as important in the uh, post-apocalypse. They're still pulling people over. I haven't, I just am saying I haven't seen Around any. here, yeah, but... Um, I mean, I've heard some some sounds. My great times. brother watches uh, that live PD. That's back in business. Sure, the fuck is. Do they uh, are they uh, um, equipped with PPE? They got a little bit of mass, but so I saw one for a hot second the other day because I stepped into the room and um, the ambulance people. 
they have all that stuff with them, and they got to the place, and then they the the lady put it all on and everything to deal with someone. Uh, the cops, they weren't even wear, some of them. They weren't even wearing masks or anything, dude. They pull into this Seven Eleven for some. I don't know why they got called there, but they got in there, and the worker was in there, right? So they go in there, and they find some meth on the floor that's his. I guess he threw it on the floor or whatever. So they ask him if he's got a car, and this guy says, yeah, I got a car. So they go and search his car, and they five, five, they find five ounces, right, of meth in this guy's car, and he's, and he's going to him. I was stocking up, stocking up for, the, uh, for the virus because I'm going to be locked down, he says. And they're like, yeah, you're going to be locked down all right. <laughs> Oh, Can I man. bring that with me? That was out in Cali. They're getting wild out there. All right, man. What you got? Uh, what we got here? We got any uh, quick update? Um, no. Unemployment office isn't oh, answering no. the phone in almost every state. They are or aren't? They are not. Yeah. It's just people getting. Uh, somebody said they. I saw one clip where someone. Uh, it's for two weeks. They call every day, and it says uh, call back another time. And yeah. Then they call back, call back another time. For two weeks straight, they've been calling. Yeah. Some people are getting it. Some people aren't. Yeah, America, man. That's what we got going on. Well, there is 1,918,000 Infected people worldwide. 119,000 deaths. 443,000 people have recovered. So there's that to look forward to. Um, like you said, though, we seem to be down a little bit since yesterday. Yesterday was uh, at 27. So far, we're at 23 today. But, uh, and again, you know, just from some, like what Fauci said there with the, um, doctor, Mr. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Fauci to you, um, he, uh, he said we have to see a hard drop because if the cases are still coming in, people are still infecting other people and it's not going to end. Right. So it's Infection. just, uh, we have to see the numbers coming in drop to nothing before. Right we can be in the clear. So that's really the, the ideal number we're looking at is to see those cases not just drop from this 25, 30,000 mark, but to, um, you know, if we saw 5,000 in a day, then we're looking good. Right. But according to the tally, uh, um, quite obviously, we're not there yet, even at the low numbers that they predict. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like to think, oh, yep, tomorrow's going to be the day. Good deal. You know, almost like a snowstorm or something, and we're like, oh, it missed us, or it wasn't as bad as they said. Right. And Somebody uh, so that's what I compared mean, that, that to that at the beginning. <laughs> How they get, like, everybody going and then realize that. Right. Yeah. So. I uh I don't know man. Huh. Numbers the 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 numbers don't lie on it. Right. And I'd like to if if anything else is tallying numbers like this, might as well track it. Well, it's good though I mean, that they've done this, this world, because if they didn't do this, have. there would have been a lot more deaths you would think. So hey, uh So yeah. They got all the populations on this world a meter. Wow. Oh, yeah. Pop. The population. All right, man. We're going to wrap it up, I guess. You're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Total cases, we are almost at 2 billion total cases worldwide. Two, wait, 2 what? We're almost at 2 million oh, cases you scared worldwide. scared me. I was like, fuck. Two million. What did I miss? <laughs> I, I like to do that. It's a little, uh, you know, that's my drag you in. I get you scared. Like, and then my I, heart just started. I give you a worst case, and then I go, oh, no, I was off by 
quite a bit on that. Yeah. We're only at uh, one million. I was off by eight. Nine hundred and eight. <laughs> I was off by eight million. Eight million or more. Six hundred seventy-nine. Yeah, a lot less. A lot more. Uh, hundred nineteen thousand two hundred twelve deaths, and four hundred and forty-three thousand one hundred ninety-two people have recovered. Give it up for the recovered people. Yeah. Um, of the current cases. 51,721 people are in critical or serious condition. Um, and, you know, some, some things like... 21% like Like died. Spain and Italy, okay? We've been tracking those guys for a while. Their, their peaks were, I think, right around 6,000 was like the top days of new cases. Right. And, I mean, I've noticed that they've been hovering around this 3,000 mark right. for several days so if we're following suit we're gonna hover around our you know lower mark than our peak for the same you know like type of duration which in our case it's you know 23,570 new cases today right counts for uh one third of all the world cases today so far are in the united states right um. Yeah, and as all these things, uh, UK passed China. Yes, they did. Um, Germany is creeping up too, but they they're drop. You know, everybody. UK is still on the rise because they their their worst days were also these four thousand days. Right. So, um, that definitely means that they're on the rise, and actually they're uh. But they haven't see that they They've haven't got, tested shit for people. Yeah, and they have, um, you know, Germany's on the or uh, UK's on the rise. Germany's like holding it there, and they've only had three thousand deaths. So they're like, you know, of all those those major countries, Germany seems to be, you know, doing uh, pretty well in comparison, and they have right. tested one million three hundred seventeen people. 15,000 per million in compared to USA's 9,000. So they're almost double test. Right. And they only have 13. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, man. So Germany seems to be coming together as a country. You know, that's all fucking time. We, uh, that's what one we were talking with Dion about. Oh, where yeah. He was talking about Germany. Um, yeah. There you go. I guess, like we said, they're not the most friendly people, so I guess it wasn't hard to, uh, yeah, to keep their distance from each other. Right. Yeah. So UK on the climb. What about uh, Iran is still on the climb and Turkey, Turkey. that are both looking to, uh, if they continue at this rate, they're going to pass those China numbers. Right. And then you're getting into the uh, smaller countries with the rough cases. Switzerland has tested uh, 22,393 of their uh, per, per million. Right. And that's, uh, but that's only 193,000 tests, yes. but still. You got Canada. You got Russia. Canada has uh, is holding it back. Right. See, they got like a um. If you look at us, that we got like a two week warning. Canada got like a four week warning, or a, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's kind of where it's it's like every time it's like anybody calls it, and you know, and then it's moving on to the next state, or like now, you know, because there's some places that weren't going to be completely. They they stood a chance to lock down even before like us in New York did. You know, based on the information that we were given, you know, right. It's like the way that that one uh, uh, Georgia governor was like, "Oh, we didn't know, we didn't know that you could be asymptomatic." Remember? I mean, we've we've, we've beaten it down, but that was like two weeks after we, as nobodies on this show, knew it. So, like, why, why? I just don't even understand. He wasn't paying attention. He was out fucking trying to get the South to rise again. I guess so. Something. 
It's crazy. Well, all right. So you want to wrap it up? You're yeah. all set, Yanni. Yeah, I'm keep yawning. Yanni. I don't know. I'm tired. Well, I do know. I I got all up right. pretty good and went. And you did some. Uh, you did some painting today. Did. did you say you had a little painting job going on? I did. Painting a well, masterpiece. Good for you. Yeah. When you paint your masterpiece. Yeah. Dylan told me. So I'm gonna oh, do the it. Streets of Rome. It's a great one. Peru, they're on the rise. So remember that. Peru? Peru. 2,265 cases today. New cases. We will see you tomorrow. Unbelievable. Unreal. Wow. 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 All right, dude, I'm going to play, uh, play a, a song for a him, video Angelo. from uh, a video even. This one's going to be a, a, a Sonic Gardens music video created about, uh, you know, three years ago or so. Right. This one is called. Three year old. This video. one's by Uncle Uku and the guys. This one is. Uh, oh, wait a minute here. Is this a happy one? Or I, does he have any happy songs? He seems pretty pissed at the world. There's some. Some songs. Yeah. I imagine. Mad. He's fed up with the world. Well, he, you know, he says it like it is. Yeah, he does. Like he wants to. You know? Yeah, I, yeah. Expression comes in all forms. It does. Dude, the music, uh, these guys, psychedelic rock is They're what good. I would put this band into for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, this song's called This Town. Thanks for having us. Uncle Luku and the guys. Come again. Sonic Gardens Radio. It's a manganese show. That's right.
that stop and stare They think it's fair They're unaware in this town With not to do They talk about you They think it's true It makes me blue in this town There's people there That stop and stare They think it's fair They're unaware in this town At the right time If you don't go, go
There you go, Jeff.